Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic polynomial. x pen bracket x plus a bracket x plus b squared. a and b are real number with b greater than zero. Hence, find the value of a and b if x plus a bracket x plus b squared equal to x cubed minus 3x minus 2. So now first, the question asks us to expand. So what I'm going to do is to expand the situation where we have x plus a bracket x plus b square. So we will have x plus a bracket x square plus 2bx plus b square. Next, we will have x cubed plus 2bx square plus b square x plus with ax square plus 2abx plus ab square. So kindly rearrange the situation. So we will have x cubed. Next, focus on the x square. So we will have plus 2b plus a bracket x square. Next, we have to focus on the x. Then we will have plus bracket 2ab plus b squared bracket x. And then finally, we have plus a, b, square. And then after that, the question asks us to find the value a and b. If x cubed minus 3x minus 2. So what we have to do is to compare the situation. So as we all know, 2b plus a will be equals to 0. So kindly refers to the coefficient of x square. It is 0. Next, we will have 2ab plus b squared is equal to negative 3. Next, the final one, we have ab squared equals to negative 2. So in here, a equals to negative 2b. Kindly substitute into the equation. So we will have 2 bracket negative 2b multiplied with b plus b squared equals to negative 3. Expand, we will have negative 4b squared plus with b squared equals to negative 3. So finally, we have negative 3b squared equals to negative 3. So kindly rearrange the situation we have negative b squared equals to negative 1. So b squared equals to 1. So b squared minus 1 equals to 0. So we will have b equals to 1. b equals to negative 1. Here stated that b must be greater than 0. So my answer will be valid for b equals to 1 because b must be greater than 0. So if b is greater than 0, then we have to substitute the value. a will be equals to negative 2. So finally, the value of a is equals to negative 2 and the value for b is equals to 1. And we will have x minus 2 bracket x plus 1 power 2 equals to x cubed minus 3x minus 2. So for the part 2, express the situation in the form of partial fraction. So if you notice that we have x cubed minus 3x squared x cubed minus 3x minus 2 is equals to 
x minus 2 bracket x plus 1 bracket square so it is the same so before we start the process let's check step number one is it proper fraction the answer is not proper if not proper what we have to do is by using the long division to proper the situation so now by using the long division we have to proper the situation so where we have x to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 5x minus 1 so the divisor will be x cubed minus 3x minus 2 so multiply with x we will have x to the power 4 minus 3x square minus 2x so simplify we will have negative x square plus 7x minus 1 so now we have the proper fraction so kindly express the situation so we have px over x minus 2 x plus 1 square will be equals to x plus with negative x square plus 7x minus 1 over x minus 2 x plus 1 square so now our focus would be this part we are going to express in the form of partial fraction next we have to check is it factorized or not so in here this is a simplest form so we can uh, have a basic structure where we will have negative x square plus 7x minus 1 over x minus 2 bracket x plus 1 to the power of 2 equals to x minus 2 as a factor plus we have a linear factor in here where we have x plus 1 power 1 plus x plus 1 power 2 in here we have linear and repeated linear so since the, the denominator is a linear factor so the numerator will be a constant follow with another constant and finally we also have a constant because this is what we call a repeated linear negative x square plus 7x minus 1 will be equals to a bracket x plus 1 power 2 plus b x minus 2 x plus 1 plus c x minus 2 so I'm going to use the substitution method where we have a b and c in order to find the value a we have to focus on b and c and we notice that we have a common terms which is x minus 2 so the value of x would be 2 next focus on b we are going to find b so look at a and c there is no common factor so we have to skip this part next we are going to find c kindly focus on a and b and we notice that there is a common factor so the value of x will be equals to negative 1 lastly we can substitute any value for finding b where x will be equals to 0 next with the help of the calculator kindly key in the function and then calculate when x is equals to 2 we will have 9 on the left if the x is equals to 0 we will have negative 1 on the left if the situation is negative 1 we will have negative 9 on the left so finally we will have 9 a a will be equals to 1 next we will focus on c so we have negative 3 c on the right so c will be equals to 3 so finally we have to find b if x is equals to 0 we will have a minus 2 b minus 2 c substitute the value of a 
and the value of c so we will have negative 1 equals to 1 minus 2b minus 6 simplify negative 1 equals to negative 5 minus 2b so in here 2b will be equals to negative 4 so b will be equals to negative 2 so finally do remember to substitute the value a b and c into the situation so as a conclusion px over x minus 2 x plus 1 to the power of 2 will be equals to x plus with 1 over x minus 2 negative 2 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 1 power of 2 so here we are and thanks for watching